coronavirus is cheating the class of 2020. Milestones have been missed. Rites of passage called off. They never imagined they wouldn't be able to go back to their schools to wrap up their senior year. Universities are announcing changes to their commencements because of the coronavirus. Uh, graduation ceremonies will be held virtually, of course. And I The achievement of an Antioch degree carries special meaning for its recipient. It represents hard work, commitment, and resilience, but more than that, it means that you belong to a community characterized by thoughtful engagement with people, institutions, and ideas. It means that you've committed yourselves to the causes of social, environmental, and economic justice. More importantly, and especially now, it signals an intolerance of injustice. Our graduates will carry Antioch's mission into practice. Today, on this commencement day that can be endlessly relived, we celebrate your hard-won achievement, and we accept responsibility to create change. Congrats, grads, you did it. I commend you on your courage, your self-examination, your critique of the world, your creativity, your compassion. You are a liberal artist. So my parting advice is to be bold and always follow what calls you most deeply. Blessings for your journey. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of the Women's Education Program, I send you best wishes. You have worked hard to reach this milestone. You are embarking on the next phase of your professional journey. Please know that you are part of the family of Antioch alumni that welcomes you as you commit to transformative work with your Antioch education. I invite you to stay connected and stay involved. I'm so happy to have this opportunity to congratulate you as well as your communities of support. You made it. You've worked hard. You've continued your educational pursuits through a challenging time in the world a time of great awakening. As you move on through this next stage in your journey, remember to stay in dialogue. It is through dialogue we remain open to learning, to new perspectives and new understandings. In the words of Paulo Freire, dialogue further requires an intense faith in humankind, faith in their power to make and remake to create and recreate faith in their vocation to be more fully human, which is not the privilege of an elite, but the birthright of all. Congratulations and all the very best to you. Hello, graduates, and congratulations. What an accomplishment. We are all so proud of you and really recognize the hard work that you've done in really quite a journey through your studies at Antioch. To be an art therapist or drama therapist is very much, in my opinion, not just a simple career choice, but rather a calling, a calling that is, comes from within and is a pervasive calling to need to make a difference in the world through creative means. And that's a super special gift for the people that you will serve in the diverse communities and populations that you'll be involved with. Our program, as you know very well, is very rigorous and we are really proud of that as you should be because you have accomplished a very rigorous program, an extensive journey, and one that we recognize you've put your hearts and 150% of, of yourselves into. So congratulations. You're now part of the Antioch alumni family, and we want to stay connected to you. As we know, our art therapy and drama therapy students tend to do regardless because of the community you've built 
while you were students here. So we would love it to continue with us, with your alums and your professional colleagues now. So again, congratulations. Well done. Hello, AUS class of 2020. Let me be the first to say congratulations. And uh, I want to also say that I'm, uh, I do admire you. Um, we may have met or passed each other in the hallway or in the common areas at Antioch University, Seattle and Belltown, where I work with the Clemente Veterans Initiative. And I've seen you there and I've met you and uh, I've seen you earnestly engage in uh, what you've accomplished now with your graduation and uh, not only is it the authoritative perspective in your chosen field at whatever level that you're graduating with but it's also something unique to Antioch I believe which is the cultivation of vulnerability empathy nurturance and receptivity that you have built together, working together with each other and with your instructors, and um, which I hope that you continue to lead with out there in the world. And together, you know, we'll continue to work towards that other possible world that we often talk about. And um, and uh, please know that you're always welcome to return and volunteer and help out with the Clemente Veterans Initiative if you have the opportunity and that you'll always have a home as an alumnus at your alma mater, Antioch University, Seattle. Hello, everybody. I just want to give you a super congratulations on completing your bachelor's degree. I know you're on a threshold of a new future, and I don't know what directions that's going to take you. But one thing is pretty sure, which is that uh, things are going to keep going on. There's going to be a lot of change. And uh, a lot of the major problems in our society right now um, symbolized and made evident by COVID-19 and the, the, the martyrdom of, of George Floyd and other African-Americans who've been um, killed at the hands of police. Um, you know, we're living in really turbulent times. And I hope that you can bring your Antiochian uh, social justice consciousness to your work, whatever way that work ends up manifesting itself, whether it's in a um, therapeutic setting or if it's on the streets. So again, congratulations on completing the bachelor's degree. Um, I hope you'll all stay in touch and keep Antioch and the vision of a more just world in your sights. It's possible. Okay, lots of love and uh, do take care and congratulations again. Bye-bye. Hello, graduates. We want to congratulate you on your accomplishments, all of us here at the Antioch Clinic. As alums, you are now among those who can take advantage of clinic friends and family programs to support you, your clients, as well as your friends and associates. These are challenging times and many adventures we face together sometimes require a little help. So we're here to support you now and in the future. Just give us a call and good luck. Hello, beloved graduates, and congratulations. It's hard to believe what a short time ago you were all in LSS dreaming of this day. Now, you're taking those carefully wrought visions, the ones you wrote about in your liberal arts essays, that you polished and honed and tweaked and overhauled, and above all, put into praxis over your time here, off into the world, in your hearts, your minds, and deeply embedded in the skill sets you have integrated in your classes and with each other. Find your vocation, find your voice, find your people, find yet more ways to learn and grow and keep in touch. You will always have a home here. XO, XO, love your homeroom teacher for life, Corey. Hello, wonderful BA graduates and family and friends. 
for family and friends, I'm Lynn Danik. I'm the coordinator of the Health Counseling and Psychology program here. And this year we celebrated our very first graduates for this program that's been around for about three years. So to all of you BA graduates, I wanted to say how impressed I am with each one of you. I see each one of you bring a synthesis to criti critical inquiry so that you do deep, deep challenges, and yet you hold a spirit of peace and kindness and an ability to work with both sides of difficult questions. And this is so much needed in the world right now. So and I also wanted to say a thank you to family and friends. You've done so much to support and help form these amazing people. So graduates, as you go out in the world, you go with our, our gratitude and our thanks and our blessings and our love. So stay in touch and have a wonderful time doing wonderful things out there. Bye. It takes great courage and adamantine strength to be true to one's personal and collective vision in a culture that prioritizes capitalist gain over planetary welfare. I am tremendously proud of all of you who have been brave and bold enough to follow your hearts by dedicating yourselves to this critically important humanitarian path. May the spirit of inquiry and service light all of your days. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you for sharing your identity, your understanding of yourself and the world, history, culture, creativity, understanding of systems, all the ways that we explore how we're connected and disconnected and how we can move toward connection with each other. This is a crucial set of skills that you've developed to shape and grow our understanding of each other that helps us build new systems and new ways of being together for our future. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Hello, graduates. Congratulations on the huge accomplishment of finishing your program and earning your degree. You have put in countless hours of work and for that I commend you. And because you are Antioch students, I know you have also poured your heart and soul into your program. That your degree is much more than a piece of paper or a professional license or certificate. You chose Antioch because you wanted to make a difference in the lives of others. You wanted to serve the greater good and make the world a better place. You also chose Antioch because of the sense of community it fosters and because of the way it brings people with common commitments together. So it feels wrong that we're not able to gather right now and celebrate your huge accomplishments in person. While this makes me really sad, I'm taking solace in thinking about the amazing work you're going to do in the world now that you've graduated. This is an incredibly troubling and uncertain time in so many ways. But those troubles have birthed a newfound activism that is hopeful and disruptive in the best ways. And as Antioch grads, you're well equipped to support those activist movements or to even start movements of your own. So in the words of Congressman John Lewis, go forth and get in trouble, good trouble.
Had we held our ceremony, you would have had one more task to fulfill prior to receiving your degree. While this is a formality, it reminds us of the magnitude of your accomplishment. It is sad that we were not able to be together to perform this final ritual, but if you would like to follow along at home, go grab your mortarboard, stand up, and get ready to graduate. Here we go. Now, by virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors as Provost of Antioch University, Seattle, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have fulfilled all requirements and affirm that you are entitled to all rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. In recognition of having received your degree, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated, or you can lie down if you're at home.